here and then the base will be running through that way. So we're going to make a rectangular base. So to do that, we'll turn the corners. Oh, sorry, I shifted the chair there. Turn the corners probably. We could turn the corners here or we could turn the corners here depending on how wide you want your base to be. So from either end we could count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think so. Well it's gonna be quite a big basket, so that's I think what I'm probably thinking. need it a bit wide end here. No, that would be lovely thing. So on barrels we'll turn yeah. one, two, three, four and we'll put a peg in there. We'll turn it turn the corner between the fourth and the fifth strip. Mm -hmm. And then here, one, two, three, four, five. We turn the corner here between the fourth and the fifth. Now we could go wider to the fifth and the sixth, or we could go narrower to the third and the fourth. There's no particular rule about it. But the closer you come back this way, like if we turn the corner between the third and the fourth here and here, what that would simply mean is that the base would be narrower and longer. So the further you step mm. it out, the, the wider, wider it becomes and the shorter it becomes. So did you do the fourth and fifth for that one? I Is think that I did. Mm. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. Um, but it's really important that you decide and then you make it the same on all corners because if you do one corner different, you'll get all your corners done and you'll weave, 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 and you'll be all happy and then you'll get up to the top and it won't work because you'll have one of the flaxes has been turned in a different place mm -hmm. at the bottom so the top won't join and then you'll have to undo so just important to, to make sure you get all the corners in the same place. So one, two, three, four, five. Put a peg on there to mark between the fourth and the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So the pegs are just to mark. You don't have to have a pencil on, but it just um, just helps you to remember when you when you're getting there what's happening. Okay. So now that you know where you're going to turn your corners, any questions or comments about that? No? So now you're going to pick the work up. Mm. This is actually probably possibly easier sitting on the floor. Pick it up gently so that you've got the shiny side, the outside of the kitty toward yourself, and then this is going to be the inside. And now here's the, the fourth and the fifth where we've put our peg, so we're going to use these two to create the corner like this. So I've got the, the, the correct two strips, so now I can take the peg off, but don't get distracted. Don't put one of them down and pick another one up or anything like this. Make sure you've got the same two that you mark. And you're going to turn your corner like this, there, like that. So, and the fifth goes over the fourth, is that correct? Uh, the fourth. This one here has just been under here, so now it's going to go over. This one has been over, so it's got to go under. So you can't go like that. If you did that, it would be wrong because this would be going over and over, and this one would be going under and under. So that would not that would not be right, and it would throw the rest of your, your weaving out of whack. So that this one's gone under, and then now it's going over, and then you're going to weave it through mm. like that. Mm. And this now, let it start to come around into that three-dimensional shape. This is why it's a bit easier on the floor. Than on the chair. Then we'll take the next one along, move that in, then the next one, I'll probably weave about four or five, get that corner really holding together, then the next one there, like that, and that one there. okay, and I'll just pull those through. Mm. Wow. Nice, hey? Oh. Amazing. So let it now roll around into that three-dimensional shape. about as tight as you can get that. Put a peg on the top of there to hold it. So that's the first corner. So now we're going to leave that corner and we're going to come over here. Oops, what's happening? Something, something, could you just step on oh, that? Oh, sorry. Let's roll it around here. And here's our next corner. One, two, three, four, five. There's the two that we're going to use. Pull those out. Alright, now we know where we're going. We can take the marker peg off. Make sure we get the right ones. So those two are going to form the corner. And now this is going to weave up this way. Um, towards
board where we started. So I'll move that through like that. Then the next one. Okay, so then the next one. I should have unlocked that door before. Gotta think so. I should have unlocked that before and didn't even remember to do it. Hi! Just doing corners. Brilliant. Uh, there, there, and we'll do the next one. There. And then maybe one more. Cool, like that. Cool, so that's you're really working towards the other corner? You're kind of working toward oh. the... Yeah. So this was like the, the end, as it were, yeah. so mm -hmm. kind of worked that way and worked that way. But both sides end up weaving into each other anyway. Do you find that that, that particular one sticks out sometimes? I haven't made enough of these. <coughs> I really know. I don't remember noticing it was that. But yeah, it's just that very like first that. one. Yeah, yeah, because that's where yeah. your fold is. I don't want to put too much pressure no, on it. I'm just going to leave that for a minute. Yeah. Okay, so then you've got your two corners, and then I think I just close them off together at the end. That. Where's that? It might be as far as we can go with that. It'll be a really big one. Oh, yeah, it's going to be huge. I might go three, four. That's three, four will just make it longer and narrower. Yes. So it really just depends. So you, you can see nice. your width there, but everybody's will be a bit different because 